everyone uh, this is my second video of the series preparing for the OSCP exam and today we're gonna talk about the legacy machine from hack the box uh, yeah so first things first uh, legacy is a windows is a windows box is uh, the difficulty is not that high is only 2.4 out of 10 and uh, I found two ways two metasploit ways of solving this first I'm gonna talk about the most common uh, Samba exploit uh, Eternal Blue and after that we're gonna talk about the um, second exploit which you're gonna see in a minute uh, I haven't I haven't found a uh, stable way of solving this box without um, without metasploit but if you found if you found one or you know about one please let me know in the comment section below all right let's go all right so we're gonna create a new directory called uh, legacy, uh, legacy. All right, then we're gonna add map. <clears throat> All right. So as you can see, there is a four four five um, port. 139 and uh, 3389 and usually 445 is for Samba so I'm gonna run a version check and also uh, I'm gonna run a script a script scan so how you do the script scan is something like this you s I select the port in my case it's 445 I say uh, minus minus script and say vuln the, the vuln is the script used to find vulner vulnerabilities on that certain port all right like that and minus pn so it ignores if it gets uh host is down messages uh 10 10 10 4 minus o because we want to we want to we want to save the output somewhere and and map that txt all right like this all right the nmap scan finished so as you can see uh on the port 445 we have uh, samba running and the uh, uh, minus minus script vuln flag on our nmap scan found the uh, vulnerability ms08067 and it has a sort of description of it so it's like CV, it's CVE from 2008 all right and it has a short description on it like that um, okay so we can see that there's a there's a CVE for it and the second one is MS 170010 and so the so our our samba our samba version is vulnerable to two exploits okay but this one ms17010 is uh is actually eternal blue so um yeah okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start first with the uh, eternal blue all right so we're gonna go on msf MSF console. I open the MSF here on the second tab, and we're gonna search for the tag, which is uh, MS seventeen zero ten, like this. Okay, so as you can see, it has uh, different modules. Um, the one that worked for me is uh, the fifth one, PC uh, PS exec. All right, like this, and we say use five because five is the number of the exploit itself, like that. Options, and we're gonna we want we want to set our remote hosts to ten 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 four, like this. Okay, and we're gonna run it. Yeah, so we got a interpreter shell. And what we can do, we can get get UID, and we, as you can see, we had anti 
authority system so we basically have root on the server uh, like that and we can say CD we go to documents and settings there and we go to administrator and to desktop because that's the location for the root flag uh, uh, yeah so as you can see we have the root.txt here all right uh, moving backwards we want to be well we also want to get a user flag right so the user flag is us is usually in the documents and settings and on a certain user in in our case it's John the user is called John so we go to John CD John CD desktop because in Windows machine on hack the box the uh, root and user flag are stored in the desktops uh, there uh, yeah so as you can see we have the user flag here all right so we want to we exit the interpreter shell all right this was so we on on this uh on on, on this uh ms exploit module we took advantage of the ms 17 010 uh, uh exploit which is it which is also called eternal blue now we want to search for the other other vulnerability which has the tag ms08-067 like this all right so there is one exploit uh you you also have a short description here so it says microsoft server service relative path stack corruption okay so we say use zero options and <coughs> sorry we also said the air host to 10 10 10 uh, 4 yeah, everything seems fine yeah everything is fine okay and we're gonna run it uh, I think the host the server is down let me see Yeah, the server is down. <laughs> yeah, okay, be right back. All right, so it got back up. All right, so I think we have everything set up. Uh, our host, okay, it works. Okay, let's go run. All right, so we got another room interpreter shell. Get UID, same, anti authority system. All right, so these uh, these were the two exploits. These were the two exploits that I that I presented. So we talked about the uh, MS zero eight six zero six seven and the MS seventeen zero ten. So I'm gonna, as usual, in the description below, I'm gonna put the. Uh, more more the, uh, the the description and the website for both exploits so you're gonna and also the references in the msf modules themselves um yeah this was legacy box and thank you for watching see you next time